we get set for the gentleman to take center stage here in Denmark. Zach Garrett, you know what it's like to shoot against a teammate. You did it in Rio, had yes. to go against Brady Ellison. Not exactly comfortable, but no. You know, we talked about it, a little, we alluded to, to it, touched on it a little bit before. Yeah. Elaborate a little bit more on that. What, what's that like to have to go and shoot against a teammate? Well, at the Olympics, it's different because, uh, well, one, you travel all this way and train for four years only to shoot against someone you shoot against all the time. So that's tough. But at the Olympics, it was good for, from a country perspective, it's good. It guarantees that one of your athletes will make it through. From an individual perspective, it's it's difficult to uh, swallow that you'll have to shoot against somebody who you were a team you were on a team with just the day prior. Right. Uh, like they're they're your enemy. I mean, uh, but such as sport here. I mean, meeting in the gold medal match, like I said earlier, is the ideal scenario for two teammates. Uh, Even if it's not ideal for you. Yeah. Yes. And I don't think anybody enjoys it. I don't think no, I don't you didn't enjoy it any more than Brady did and I vice versa. So. I don't think the fans really enjoy it all that much either. No. <laughs> Maybe sometimes. Well, that won't be the case from here on out. Nope. As we get set for the match, that'll decide who finishes third. It'll be Kuban Chan and Wei Chun Heng. Kuban Chan, the Olympic gold medalist. Nine. Who was dropped by Chef Vandenberg, 7-1. In the semifinal match just moments ago. Eight. Trying to rebound against Wei Chung Heng. Who fell to Brady Ellison, 6-2. Both men working rapidly. And this is what we were talking about earlier. When when you have quick shooters, it can really up the pace of the match. Bit of a quizzical look on the face of Wei Chung Heng. Yeah, both archers hit right on their first shot. Uh, and then after that second shot from Wei Chung Heng, you saw them both move their sights. And and both of them hit left when the wind calmed down. So I think that that was a mistake for them to move their sights. But in the moment, it's hard to <laughs> yeah. make great judgment calls. It's easy for us here. Yeah, 2020 <laughs> vision, yeah. 2020 hindsight, I should exactly. say. Yeah. Exactly, always. Always. I've never made a mistake using 2020 hindsight. No, oh, I'm always positive. Oh, oh absolutely. I, I will take that back. I am not always positive about what happened. It's <laughs> my no. memory has failed me nah. many times. With me, no bad moves with 2020 hindsight. <laughs> They've all been good moves. So 26-24, the score in that first set is Kuban Chan. Looking to rebound from a 7-1 loss to Chef Vandenberg in the semifinals and get to that podium. Puts up a pair of nines and an eight. And the seven on the second shot by Wei Chun Heng is his undoing as he drops that set and falls behind 2-0. Chun Heng, 22 years of age. If you're just joining us, he's ranked 10th in the world. Qualified 9th at the Olympics with a score of 679. That goes to what you were talking about a little while ago, Zach, how scores of 680 four years ago in London, yeah. they were few and far between. Now it's become commonplace, 680 to 700. Yeah, very. Uh, in the middle of the pack, too, has gotten a lot deeper. You see at the World Cups, everybody's shooting 660s yeah. at the top. Was it? I think it was in Turkey where the top hundred shot. Uh, uh, the cut was a 640 something, it's almost a nine average. It, it's unheard of um, in in the World Cup competitions. Usually it's much lower, but it just speaks to all these programs in the country or in the world are just getting better and better and better. And the equipment's also getting better too. Uh, equipment gets better. 
Okay, ready? Nine. Mm -hmm. Equipment can be the difference between maybe 640s okay. and 660s, mm -hmm. maybe, but. But when you get to that higher level. It's all, wow. all the athletes. Eight. Turning into a breezy day now. Here in the later afternoon in Owensa, Denmark. Smack dab in the middle. Cannot get much closer to the center than that. A direct hit by Kuban Chan. Counts every bit as much. That second shot by Wei Chung Hang could be critical depending upon what no. Kim Ban Chan does right here. It will be crucial. They've either split or Wei Chung Hang has taken the set. A little bit of an anxious moment for that young man. And, and that camera angle, again, great camera angle. You can see that that air is clearly in. All it has to do is graze that line. It doesn't have to be right on top of the line, just barely nicking the line. Uban Chan led it two to nothing after the first set. And it will be either three to one or two to two. Depending upon the judge's call. Okay, we're tied at two all. And two more will be shooting first on target number one. So that second shot was a nine instead of an eight for Wei Chun Heng, and he takes that set 28-27. We're all tied up at two apiece. Shadows starting to grow across the field of play here. That can play some tricks on you too. I'm Changing ask lighting. You about that. Yeah, the lighting change. Lighting can be very difficult. We saw that in Rio in our uh, match against China. Um, everyone started hitting left as the sun moved more. Uh, I think it moved more. Off or to the, the west. It was yeah. Yeah. Well, the stadium there at Sambodromo started to cast some shadows. Yes. I remember that. Okay, Clay. Nine. But here, the light is still, cons it's been consistent on the target the whole day and consistent on the athletes as well. So it shouldn't cause any issues, but we'll see. It's not to be, appear to be causing any issues for these archers. Ten right here would salt the set away instead of to nine. Yes, sir. And a chance for Wei Chun Heng to gain a split. All he's got to do is shoot a ten, Zach. Oh, that's it. That's it. Simple. <laughs> and he looked down as soon as he released. He knew it wasn't going to end up in the ten ring. He was hoping. <laughs> Praying. Some people throw the bow arm. Other people just immediately look to the scoreboard. Uh -huh. Everybody has their post-shot ritual. <laughs> drop the bow. Yes. <laughs> drop it. Walk. Drop, drop the mic. Drop right. the mic. Yeah, it's a walk off. Yeah. It's a drop the bow walk off. Yeah. We've tried to tried to come up with something that'd be equivalent, right? Uh huh. Drop the bow. Maybe you could drop your arrows. I'm not sure. We've yet to come up with anything that'd be like a mic drop. Yeah, they're kind of expensive, those things, aren't they? Yeah, it is. Kind of depend upon those for your living? Definitely, definitely. Not sure how many many of those you want to drop. Now maybe just, I don't know what it could carry around for dropping. Drop sake. one arrow. Drop That's it. Drop an arrow. Drop an arrow. An arrow. Yeah. Do the arrow <laughs> drop. I I'm going to remember that. <laughs> I'll hold you to that. You know that. Aye, great. I had someone <laughs> ask me to sign in. 
uh, give them an arrow once, uh -huh. and I had to say, man, uh, you know, I'd, I'd love to, but this, this is thing's expensive. gone. <laughs> <laughs> They don't exactly grow on trees? No, not quite. Not quite. <laughs> now, if you'll bring Zach an arrow, he will sign <laughs> it for you. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can you can quote that. Oh, okay. <laughs> Some agent I am. Okay. I'm sorry? Some agent I am. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> good start for Wei Chun Heng. And he needs a good start, trailing four to two in this match. Good battle going on between the two archers from the Far East. Okay, clay, clay, clay. Nine. And again, dropped his eyes after releasing the shot. Not a bad shot, but just not the one he was hoping for. Nine. Wants to put as much pressure on Kubanchan as he possibly can. And it's just out of the ten <laughs> ring. He had a good, uh, good bow throw there. Mm -hmm. And an eight instead. So goes from being in a position where he could have wrapped it up and closed out the match, gotten ready for his uh, appearance on the podium, and instead <laughs> it's going to go to another set, the fifth set. Wei Chun Hang winning that one by 1 point, 28-27. Good battle going on right here in the match to determine third place. Here in Denmark at the 2016 Archery World Cup final. One more match left to go after this. Brady Ellison, Chef Vandenberg waiting in the wings. Right now, at least three more arrows to be shot by both of these archers, Kuban Chan and Wei Chun Heng. Chun Hang made his debut just a year ago, medaled at all three stages this year on the 2016 circuit with the Chinese Taipei mixed team. He also took the individual bronze medal at stage one in Shanghai, served notice on what was to come this year. Didn't finish lower than ninth individually at any of the three legs on this year's abbreviated circuit. Ruban Chan trying to go for the kill and close this match out. I doubt either one of these gentlemen want to get to a shoot off. Of the no, hook. I don't think so. <laughs> it may be headed for that, Zach. It could be. Nobody ever wants to go to a shoot off. Nine. Ah, go on. They're fun. Uh -uh. They're fun. Uh -uh. We love them. <laughs> oh, for the crowd, it's yeah. great. Sure. So are penalty kicks. <laughs> Oops. You could see it as soon as he released. His reaction told the story. Ku Ban Chan has put it out of reach and he will be on the podium. It's got to be a tough shot for Wei Chun Hing to take. Yeah. I mean, we talked about this before, but this is a unique that's a little situation. Yeah. yeah. It's not just the set, it's no, the match. It's the match. That's a hard arrow to shoot. Ku Ban Chan, your winner. And he will finish third here at the World Cup final. What a great year it's been for him. Kuban Chan, the Olympic gold medalist in Rio, and the third place finisher here in Denmark at the World Cup final. So congratulations to Kuban Chan, and really congratulations as well to Wei Chun Heng for getting into this match and having a great season himself. Definitely.
Did you did you say that last year was his first year on the circuit? Yes, it was. Oh. Good for him. It's been a rapid rise. Definitely yeah. so. He has come on strong. Wei Chun Hang.